Hey everybody. Well, today we're going to take a look at this Lego set of the Volkswagen T2 camper van. So this is set number 10279 and it has 2,207 pieces. Now this is one of those sets that uh, when I first saw it, I, I liked it and I wanted it, but I, it ended up getting put on the back burner because a bunch of other sets were coming out at the time. And uh, I had heard, you know, wind of the uh, Titanic coming out. So I had to kind of save up for some of these sets. So this one, I finally now got it. And, um, you know, it's kind of a cool set, at least from what I can see here. I, I'm kind of curious about it because it seems like this set has gotten a little bit of um, criticism from some people. And I'm, I'm not really sure what the criticism is. I think some people said the T1 camper van is better than this one, but I don't have that one to compare this to. And uh, also, I think certain parts of the way this thing was constructed is also something that people were complaining about. On the back of the box here, we get a different view of this. I really love the pop-up feature. It's got this nice cloth area. I'm not a fan of this gap. I think that's one of the things people complained about, and I do agree with that. This is not minifigure scale. It's one of those larger vehicles, kind of like the 007 uh, DB5 kind of uh build. It also has these really nice little side builds of some nice lawn chairs and a, a skateboard. It's very much kind of like the hippie feel. Uh, it has these stickers that you can put on here of flowers and love and peace and all that cool stuff. So it's kind of neat how they, they kind of add that. You can put those on. You don't have to. It has the uh, back section here that opens up. And there's also the little engine access door, which I think is pretty cool. The whole top can completely come off, and then you can see down inside, and I always love when they do interiors. All right, well, let's take a look at how many bags are in this set. All right, so this is a pretty big set. You can see all the parts here. And the bags are numbered up to number 11, and there's 21 bags total because of the multiples. I don't know why LEGO does multiple bags like that, but that's just how they do it. And then there's another bag here that has the uh, windshield and the tires. All right, well, guess I'll get started on this. Looks like it's going to be another fun set. Also, I should mention I like it when LEGO puts the instruction books in these envelopes because it keeps the book from getting all mangled and bent. So thank you lego for doing that on this set at least i forgot to show these real quick this is the uh instruction book it is a super thick book so uh, it's thicker than i would expect for this set but it is over 2200 pieces and then also you get these great stickers look at all these um these are the standard ones that you can put on and then you got all these great ones here if you want to turn it into like a 60s style 70s style uh, van got the love and peace and the flowers and all that stuff which is great so they, it's nice to give you a whole bunch of these all right so i just wanted to show this crazy bit of technic going on here i'm assuming this is for the front wheels because they will be able to turn but you can see how this works right here and you can see how there's a, a little sliding kind of mechanism going on and there's a bunch of gears up here so there's a lot of stuff going on in there and the part right here we got these three ball joints that was a little wonky to put together because um, you're trying to hold everything together and you're trying to make sure you got it facing the right way I actually screwed up at one point I put this blue that long blue piece right in the center there on this side by mistake and I couldn't figure out why those green pieces wouldn't fit right so yeah it's one of those things where you have to really kind of pay attention to what's going on but that works pretty cool all right I just wanted to show that before it gets all covered up all right, I'm almost done now, and this thing is, <laughs> look at how elaborate this is. This is the mechanism that they have for um, the pop top roof here. So uh, everything looks really cool, but this was pretty crazy building this entire thing. And I almost feel like it was overdone, but I don't know, maybe not. Maybe that's just how they did it. There's a cool little spring here. So when you collapse this, the whole thing just kind of comes down like that. So, you know, you're not going to be able to see this um, once that cloth is on the outside of this. Well, you'll probably see it from this side, but that's about it. But when you open this back up, you can see how it, this spring keeps this, you know, up like this. You can see how it pushes it up. So it's kind of cool, actually. But yeah, <laughs> that was pretty crazy. But you got to give the designers credit for coming up with this crazy stuff. And here it is, all complete now, and oh man, I really like this thing. I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it, but I'm glad that I did buy it after all. Um, this looks definitely like the old uh, VW um, camper vans. It kind of is giving me flashbacks <laughs> looking at this thing. Um, it's got all kinds of really cool features on it. It was a lot of fun to build. 
uh, neat little things that they threw in there, things that I was kind of surprised that they were able to pull off and uh, actually make, you know, make work, which was pretty interesting. Um, I also love that it comes with a way to build these little, you got a little surfboard here and a couple of lawn chairs. I'll show some close-ups of all the details and go over all the features, but I think this thing is really cool. So this surfboard and the uh, chairs are actually the last thing you build, and it's just a pretty cool thing. You build this middle section first, and then it's all sideways construction to make the rest of this. And it's really cool. You got the little fin right there. And then these lawn chairs are really cool as well. I love it that these are actually collapsible. You can actually collapse them like this and make them flat like that. And then what's really neat is that you can actually store them on top of the camper van. There's a little spot up there so you can put them up there for storage. Here's a top view of where those chairs go. Originally I thought it was luggage up there but it turns out it's the chairs. So they got this nice little pocket in here for you to put them in which is really cool. On the front here um, they have some stickers for those grills and there was also a sticker for the license plate. They had two different uh, license plates you can choose from. I went ahead and Put the California one on there. There's also stickers for these bumpers, those little black things. On the side here, you got these nice windows, um, or I should say mirrors right here that are really nice. You can kind of adjust those. There's some side detail. I love these curtains that they put in the windows. Those are actually made of the little, kind of the same material they use for uh, capes and stuff for some of the action, uh, for the uh, minifigures. Here we got a print. That was actually a printed piece. It was actually two pieces to make that back vent over here. More curtains in the back. And then there's another license plate right there. And then we also have the Volkswagen logo right there, which is pretty cool that they put it on there. It's a little hard to see. And on this side, we have another of the printed vent, more of the cool curtains. Oh, that one doesn't have any. And then we also have this gas tank, which is pretty neat. All right, let's take a look at some of the features on this thing. Now the driver's side door and the passenger doors actually do open. You got the little handle right here. You can open this up. You can see all the detail inside here. Those seats were really fun to make. And then there's also the steering wheel. This steering wheel can turn. And when you turn it, it does turn the wheels as well. So let me see if I can turn the wheel and you can see the uh, steering wheel turn inside here. It's really hard to film inside there. You can kind of see the wheel turning. And then what else is cool is on the front here, this tire will also act as a steering wheel. So you can turn the wheels like this by turning the tire in front, which is much easier to operate. So you don't have to reach down inside there. The top of the cab doesn't open, so you can't get inside there, but you know, it's open enough that you can see what's going on. There's actually a little stick shift in there. I don't know if you can see that. On the other side here, this door also opens as well. You can try to get that one. And I, I like the little handles they put on here. It makes it nice that you can grip those. And here's the detail for the other side. There's no like gas pedals or anything like that, but you can kind of see what's going on in there. But I like it. I like that they at least put that in there. On the back, we also have this nice little door that can open up. The old hatchback sort of thing. You got storage back here, just like on a real one. There's also the back of the big bench seat that's in the back. This piece here, this is another opening door. Now this is a little finicky. You have to kind of grip this just right to get this to open. And once you do, there's some engine details in there. And here we can see what's going on in there. Uh, you know, it's not really that visible, but there is some detail in there. And it was kind of fun to build that little engine area, but it's nice that they put that in there as well. This door closes really smooth. Um, I will say that the construction of it along the side here is a little fragile. There's not a whole lot holding it together. When I was first putting this on, it kept breaking right there. So, uh, you know, and now that it's smoothly in there, it's fine. But when you're building it, it tends to fall apart. But that does close really nice. This door here is a little bit of a different story. When you close it, the bottom here likes to catch on the top of the bumper like that. So you have to kind of finagle with it a little bit. And they, I noticed they made it a little bit so there's some give right there. You have to kind of push it in a little bit and then that, you can get it to close. It works fine. It's just that you have to kind of mess with, mess with it, uh, you know, a little bit. But that's just kind of the way they designed it. And that's fine. Now on the side here, you'll notice there's a tiny little hidden button. It's like a little secret button. And I thought this was a really cool idea of how they did it. When you push this, it has a mechanism that actually opens this sliding door on the side. And just like the real thing, it does slide. There's a little track right here and there's tracks down here and there's a track up here. 
And this thing opens and closes really smooth, just like the real deal. I think they did an excellent job on there. And that me mechanical thing that they got going on there is nothing short of genius. So I'll show you more of the interior and how that works. But you can also short close it just like the real one. So it works perfect. Now, of course, one of the main features of this set is the pop top. And this is achieved by just lifting this part right here. And there you have the nice little cloth area in there. It works really well. I think it looks fantastic. The only thing I don't like is up here in the front, you can see there's a gap and you can actually see some of the inner workings in there. They should have had a little bit of this material go higher up. Uh, you know, just to cover that, I, I kind of think that's a little unsightly. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But here it is on this side as well. And it works really well. There's like a spring mechanism in there that I showed you earlier. And when you close this, you have to be a little bit careful when you're doing it. You want to make sure you tuck in the material on both sides here. Just tuck it in a little bit, tuck it in in the front. And that way it doesn't get caught when you shut it. And it locks down. And then that way... Uh, you don't have such a, a gap. I mean, there's going to be a little bit of a gap here, I think, just from the tension. But it's not that noticeable because there's gaps in other parts of it, like I'm over here and stuff. But I think it works really well. And you just grip this part. It just opens and closes super easy. So I love this. I think it's a great mechanism that they came up with for that. Another great feature that they added into this is that you can actually take the whole roof off if you want to see inside better. So what you got to do is you got to open this back section first and then this just slides right off you just pull it back like that it's very smooth it's on a little track right in there and you can take the whole top off and now you can see down inside there so let's take a look at some of those details one of my favorite things about building some of these lego sets is the interiors whether it be buildings or in this case this vehicle and this was no different it was really fun you actually build this entire uh, countertop right there you know by itself and then the whole thing just kind of goes in there so we got a nice little sink right there. There's a little burner with a little flame. And I think that the way they did that uh, kettle is pretty clever, actually. There's some knobs right there for, I'm guessing, the stove. Over here, we got a little drink that's sitting on the counter. Down here, we got that nice little bench seat and this table. This table is adjustable. You can actually uh, turn it flat like this and bend it this way. And then the bench seat can actually go flat like this. So it can be turned into a bed, which is really neat. And it's kind of got a, a little bit of a hinged kind of mechanism in there that allows this to kind of have a little bit of ability to kind of move around a little bit. So I think that was pretty clever the way they did that. Let's take a look at the stuff going on down there. Looking through the sliding door now, we can see there's a couple of little cabinets down in here. Now, if you try to get a hold of this little handle, and it's a little bit difficult, but you can open this up. And inside there, you can see that there is actually a little propane tank. So that is propane powered for the uh, stove and I'm guessing the refrigerator as well. So it's really cool that they put that feature in there. Now on this side, we can open this up. And over here, we've got a refrigerator. And inside there, you can see there is a little bit of a juice container, a couple of jars there's a banana <laughs> it's really cool it was really fun to build that section in there uh, it's always fun building that kind of detail and i think they just kind of went all out on this thing but this mechanism for the door is really cool they left a little gap in here to allow you to open both sides you can open both at the same time and there's a really nice tile uh, floor down here as well on the other side we can now see that little mechanism that they made for making this door slide it's pretty cool you can see the track down there at the bottom where that glides. There's one up here on the top as well. And when you push this door in, you can kind of see how that moves right there. This just kind of goes in and you can see how that moves. Let me see if I can get this door to shut. See how that kind of goes in like that? It's really ingenious how they figured that out. Now this thing right here is what makes the door open. So when you push that secret button that's in underneath there that I showed you earlier, you can see how that thing moves. See how that's moving right there? And it pushes the door out. And that's how it makes it open like that. And there you go, and it slides perfectly. I mean, that is ingenious how they figured all that out. I have no idea how they did it, but those engineers, man, they know their stuff. Here's what the roof looks like when you've got it all together. So you can see all the mechanisms and stuff going on in here. You can see the spring uh, 
kind of shock absorber thing down inside there. So when you lift this, it opens like that. And it's got like a little, you know, you can see how it just pushes it back up. So you can see how all, all of that's going on in there. Kind of like what I showed you earlier. But like when you push it together, it just locks together. It's pretty, pretty smart. But man, that's a lot of stuff going on in there. A lot of technic. In my set, Lego accidentally provided two uh, sticker sheets for each one of these. So I ended up with two of these ones and then two of these as well. And so, but it's great. I mean, I can probably find some kind of use for these. I was tempted to put these on, but I think I'm going to leave it plain because I just think it looks better. But these are great. I mean, you can put, you know, love and peace and there's a little uh, shark infested water thing, some palm trees. I like this brick stock. That's pretty funny. There's some leaves on there. Each one of these is a separate square as well as these. So you don't have to put them over multiple uh, pieces on here and multiple tiles. You can actually, you know, just like they would normally do it on a regular set. But these are great if you want to customize your van. So there we go. The T2 camper van from Lego. This set has been out for a couple, a few months, I guess now. And uh, it retails for $179. Uh, you know, I think it's a pretty good price for, you know, what it is considering all the features it's got. It's a pretty nice size. It's not overly large where it's going to take up a massive part of your shelf and it's narrow enough that you can, you know, maybe put it, park it in, you know, this way. <laughs> it won't take up quite as much real estate. I do kind of worry about maybe the longevity of this material. Um, you know, maybe a lot of opening and closing might kind of be harsh on it. Uh, maybe if you keep it shut for a long time, this might get wrinkled up or or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure. It's not a very thick material, so I do kind of question the uh, durability of it. Because I don't really think I want to display it open because, you know, you don't want dust and stuff getting all over that material. But um, yeah, I mean, there's been some criticism about this, and I'm not really sure what it was. I think maybe possibly the uh, the construction, certain parts of the construction of it maybe. But overall, I think it's pretty cool. I know there were some people complaining that the front bumper comes off really easy, and it does. If you are, if you just slightly push down on this, it'll come off. And uh, if you are messing around with the back and you've got the weight sitting on the front here, it will pop that off. I, I will say that I did cheat and glue that on because I got to the point where I didn't want to have to keep fixing that. And I don't ever take my Lego sets apart anyway, so it's not like I have to worry about ever taking it apart and I don't do mocks so I don't have to use these parts for anything. I build these sets because I, I like them for what they are. But yeah, this is a cool set. So if you're interested, uh, lego.com. I haven't seen them in stores like Target or Walmart. They probably will show up there eventually and it'll probably go on sale eventually as well. I ended up paying full price for it, but I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. All right, well, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a like and also uh, subscribe too. I'd very much appreciate it. So I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you later. Have a good one.